Hi, my name is Melody Yin. I'm an eighth grader at the Harker School. My project is on the use of hybrid methods to predict SRCs or sports related concussions. SRC prediction is relevant right now because there's an extremely high teenager concussion rate. Half of almost 4 million Americans diagnosed with concussions each year are adolescents. However, concussion diagnosis is also quite difficult because concussions don't have biomarkers since they aren't physical injuries. My engineering goal is to improve concussion diagnosis through developing a hybrid model, which is a combination of human knowledge-based domains and computer-generated data. Over the summer, I went over a good number of publications and based off of my reading, researchers typically focus on either clinical information or computer-generated data, but not both. My research aims to leverage both of these areas. In the research conducted by Bergeron and his team, they used machine learning algorithms to predict symptom resolution time in adolescents. Their best performing model had an AUC ROC of approximately 0 0.7. The work done by Hale and his team trained an ANN, or an artificial neural network, to predict traumatic brain injuries. Along with using symptoms, as Bergeron did, Hale also used CT scans. Both of these studies showed some success in the use of machine learning to predict SRCs. Finally, Cooperman and his team focused on creating a rule to predict children at low risk of clinically relevant brain injuries. What was special about the study is that they didn't use machine learning, and this showed me that knowledge-based predictions are also a valid path. This slide illustrates my processes throughout this project. My work can be divided into roughly four to five steps. First, after I receive data from Nation, I clean it and prepare it for training using Pandas, which is a Python library. Next, I ran trials using Google AutoML and used its feature importance ranking to determine the top factors. In addition to machine learning, however, I also ran some manual data analysis and identified correlations between domain and symptom resolution time. And finally, I combined both parameter sets to obtain the parameters from my hybrid model. Here you can see another representation of how I determined my top 10 features. First, I combined top ranking features from previous work with my ranking results to find my symptom feature frequency ranking, from which I got my top 10 features. This table summarizes how I determined my symptom feature frequencies. I counted the amount of times each symptom appeared in the top 10 and chose my top features from there. Here you can see a visual mapping of my symptoms to domains, and the red dots represent my top factors. After manual data analysis, I realized that, what, that there was indeed a correlation between symptom resolution time and domains. Based off of this, I decided that it would be a valid choice to include domains as part of my parameters. This table summarizes the results of my trials. Based off of these results, my hybrid model was indeed effective. In my first model, I repeated past work to create a benchmark study. In the second, I collected data for symptom ranking, and in the third, I evaluated the use of domains. Finally, in trials four and five, I tried my hybrid model. There is a difference in data and algorithms used between these two. Here you can see a re visual representation of my model's accuracies broken down by time frame. The red shows the highest performing models. The hybrid model outperformed on the 14 and 28 day timeframes, while on the seven day timeframe, the domain model was the highest performing along with my 36 parameter model. This shows again that my hybrid model is effective. Again, the combination of medical knowledge and machine learning shows a lot of potential in the future. Here's a summary of the results of AUC ROCs from my trials, along with a comparison with previous work. You can see previous work outlined in purple. Once again, my models outperform previous work. So based on the results, my hybrid model is again effective as the highest performing in 14 and 28 day timeframes. Here are a couple of challenges that I overcame during my project. For example, data application for me was a very long and challenging process and I spent almost the entirety of summer preparing for it. I submitted a 12 page application, but initially my application wasn't accepted. So my mentor helped me to schedule a meeting after which the data center decided to grant me access to data for this project. 
I initially did not have enough knowledge to begin this project as well. So I used my summer to learn more about concussions, diagnosis processes, processes and machine learning. So I learned a lot from the internet, such um, from sources such as Google Scholar and consulted my mentor when certain questions came up. And finally, my data was originally just under 1000 rows. So I tried a few options and finally got my data past 1000. I explored my options and I also ended up augmenting data based off of a few other columns. Finally, this slide concludes my research. My hybrid model was thrust performing among my trials. It was the highest performing in 14 and 28 days and domains are indeed an effective parameter. I have shown that there is a direct correlation between them and symptom resolution time. Symptom rankings are an effective way to summarize data with large amounts of parameters from machine learning. I have designed and successfully implemented a hybrid machine learning model, which has outperformed previous work. I've also found a correlation between domains and symptom resolution time. In the future, my approach can also be applied to a larger data set and a large amount of variables. And I also hope to involve my model in clinical trials.